Hi! In a previous video, I showed you how to create a self-ranking leaderboard using pivot tables. For this video, we are going to use that same idea, but this time create a chart that your students can use to visualize not only their rank, but where their XP is coming from. This chart is also self-ranking, meaning that it changes the student's placement automatically as soon as you input new data. You will need to already have created a spreadsheet with your students' names, the heraldry images inserted with the big conditional formula, a total column obtained from adding the different assignments using the sum function, and the different sheets for the XP categories. Remember that you bring the totals from each sheet simply by using the array formula. Now on to the pivot table. Click on Data, Pivot Table. Make sure that the full range is selected and click OK. I like to change its name right away, so I remember not to modify it once I'm done. Add the student name and rank fields. Get rid of the show totals. And for the values, add your global total and the assignments that you're going to want to show. Have the student name sorted by descending and your global total, your sum of total. This already sorted your students by their global total, but also included the totals for each of the assignment categories. Now let's insert the chart. Go ahead and close the report editor and click on Insert Chart. For your first field, you're going to choose just the A column. Now click on the little waffle thing and add another range. For this one, you want to select the assignment categories. Click OK. Now let's move to chart types. Scroll down to this bar, stack bar chart and click insert. Scroll up to find it and grab it to move it around. Close the report editor and now you can work with this chart as you would with any other. Let's make it a little bigger. Change the font. You can change the title to whatever you wish. And now let's see what happens. We're going to work with Jewel. And let's say that she scored really well, that she scored, I don't know, uh, 10,000 here and 8,000 here. She took a couple of tests, so she scored, I don't know, 25,000 here and 12,000. Okay, see how everything is changing? Let's see what happened to her ranking. Let's find her over here. Where is she now? She moved from almost the very bottom to over here. Plus, she now knows where her XP is coming from. Remember, she was at the very bottom. And she also knows that her log total is this score. Her PBL quests is this score. And her mastery quests is this score. Let's go ahead and do Caden. 
let's see let's add him some points here and here and here let's give him some mastery points here and here and here let's go see where he's ranking now he moved to fourth place he knows where his totals come from and he has can see his new place in the leaderboard you can publish the leaderboard like i showed you in the previous video but you can also publish just this chart let's see what that looks like and there is a chart that you can share with your students You could follow the same procedure to show averages instead. For that, I added an average column to each of my assignment sheets. The function is equals average, and then the, all the fields, all the cells. Added the columns to my leaderboard and imported the columns using the array formula and included the values in my pivot table. Blog averages, BBL averages, master request averages. And inserted the chart just like before, but using these new values. As you can see, the ranking remains. Matilda is still in first place. But in this averages leaderboard, they can see the average score for each of the categories. So there you have it, self-ranking leaderboards that the students can use to see where to focus their efforts for maximum XP. Thank you for watching.